Good morning, everyone. This is Alamon, and welcome back to an extra spooky episode of Courageous Korea, episode 7. I just noticed that uh, the in-game date is the 31st of October, and also, in the diplomatic map mode, it's uh, really brought out how much Korchin looks like some kind of screaming witch head. So that is one of the most interesting country shapes I've ever seen. We're in this war against the uh, Buryatia to retrieve a couple of cores belonging to our vassal, the Yeren. Um, oh, and Korchin also has a province of Yeren. That's good to know. Uh, we just got stomped by this Oirat and Buryatia army. Um, manpower is completely depleted. But, you know, I think we can still pull this out. Take a look at the uh, war thing. So, take core. Um, yeah, so we do control the war goal. We just have a very poor record in terms of battles. Hopefully the Oirat will uh, leave our carpet sieging armies up there alone. But uh, this is going to be tough. The uh, Ming still have a large army. But it's not very well consolidated, and it seems to be very poorly led. All right, well let's let's resume. I could recruit some mercenaries. I really would prefer not to do that, though. Our economy is not doing so poorly, but um, it looks like the Oirat are content to. Uh, bring all of their troops into Ming territory. And the Ming are content to just go into Oirat territory, so nobody's fighting each other. Okay, a couple sieges are over. Very nice. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so they're not actually coming to get us at Chagatai army. Um, let's just consolidate forces here in uh, Barguzin. So the Ming are recruiting like crazy right now. Hopefully they will attach to this army. And uh, that terrain there is just desert. So if we attack in from Pingliang or Ordos, we will be able to catch them. With, uh, without any defensive bonuses, that is. Peace offer from the Buryatia. Uh, that's not quite what we want. No, I think we need to... Um, yeah, we need to transfer the occupation. And it is the Yeren. Okay. So I think that that just confused the AI. Um, yeah, no need to take that territory yet. So let's see, actually, what were the... Um, oh, we don't have any diplomats right now. Let's see what they will accept. Oh, those are worth so little. Just seven war score. That's amazing. Um, could have them in all the treaty. I think that's probably a good plan. And they're even small enough to vassalize. We're not going to do that, though. We're already at our um, diplo limit. And we could get war reparations. Let's do that, because that does not take up a Diplo slot, if I remember correctly. And can we... Yeah, we can even grab a bit of cash there. I'm actually really surprised that they're that willing to uh, give up. I mean, we have occupied most of their territory. I guess that's all it took. All right. Let's do it. All right, so our vassal has their territory back. Zero unrest, it looks like. Let's um, pull all of our armies back together. 
And out of curiosity... Oh, that's very nice. So that's decreased all the way down to 5%. I'm not quite sure um, what made it decrease. But it's good that we don't have to worry about a Mancha Revolt. Now our war exhaustion is quite high. We have been rolling from one war to the next. And uh, as I said, our manpower is completely depleted. We're actually about 5,500 in debt. So we have to let that recover. This could be a good time to um, start trying to uh, colonize up in Siberia. So... Uh, Yeah, I suppose we could get a conquistador, and immediately after a war is probably the best time to do it. Our tradition's still very poor, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Um, that's pretty bad. No shock pips. But uh, the maneuver's nice, and siege is always nice as well. Um, Alright, so we'll switch to this new general. Actually, let's consolidate these regiments. Um, I'm going to wait until more of my army arrives back in Heto Allah. And we'll take three plus one cavalry unit. Actually, I just did that backward. I am um, a little bit slow with the mouse right now. I uh, I noticed how very loud and annoying my middle click button was, so I remapped middle click to um, one of my side function buttons, which is much quieter. But my hand is kind of confused right now. I'm still getting used to that layout. But I think it's worth it. Um, hold on, is Jeju its own province? It is. I did not realize that. I thought it was still part of Cholado. Well, and it's uh, it's even trading in Chinaware, which is great. Or, uh, yeah. Huh. Well, I don't want to revolt there. But um, we may as well just take the unrest. Right now we're starting to explore into uh, uncharted territory. Actually, it would be nice to take Sakhalin, come to think of it. I think as soon as I get to that um, province, we're just going to turn right back around. May as well bump up game speed. Colonial range of 240, so actually I think I do need to get more Diplotech in order to be able to um, jump across to the new world. But in the meantime, I will just, I think I'm going to fill in the idea group. We'll get that nice uh, minus 10% to stability cost. Oh, the Ainu old Sakhalin and Hokkaido. Okay. Um... There's no way for us to fabricate a claim on them. We have no Casus Belli. Uh, interesting. Interesting. And even here we can't colonize because uh, all of this land belongs to our vassal. Is it possible to get... Yeah... Oh, well, actually, that doesn't affect colonial range anymore anyway. That was way back in the day. Well, I guess we'll just continue marching up the coast. Um, we could colonize this place. Um, which, if nothing else, would be nice for supply ship reach. 
Man, Jeju really actually helps a lot with uh, ship reach. We can get further than we used to in uh, previous versions of the game. Yeah, you know what? I think we are going to go for that. Um, grab our transports. Oh, they're actually not mothballed. Wait, am I? Okay, I'm not sure why my lightships were there. That is strange. I must have made a mistake at some point. Um, but yes, mothball the galleys. And then, let's take... those. We can give uh, that general there. Attach to fleet. And by this point, I think we can actually dispatch a colonist, because it'll take them a while anyway. We are still at full um, military maintenance. Can we not disembark? Oh, there we go. Perfect timing. So that's going to cost us, actually. Ooh, actually, yeah, we have a large deficit now. Let's check our budget. Yeah, it's costing two ducats. Well, I think that we have enough in our treasury that we can absorb that for a while. Hopefully we won't have too many uprisings. Let's check. Uh, well, that is fairly high. They will rise up a couple times, I'm sure. Families left behind. The recent war took a heavy toll on our people. This must be a low manpower event. Many were called, few returned. The families of nobles and commoners alike toiled as they waited for soldiers to return home, but they war ended, and they never did. Now the toiling continues, many being so preoccupied with the work to make up for the lost pair of hands that they barely have time to grieve. Of the ones who have time to think, many are increasingly thinking that we ha have throwing away lives too carelessly. All right, a little bit of proofreading needed there. Uh, we can ease the tax burden. Yeah, okay, I don't want to ease the tax burden because we're already at a deficit. Uh, we don't want to... Um, okay, that lasts for five years, which is pretty long. We're still so far in debt with manpower, we can't decrease the drafting. So we're just going to have to go for the national unrest and... Um, I think that in most of our provinces, that'll just easily be swallowed up. Um, so yeah. So that province, for example, uh, Pyongan, is still at uh, minus 3.32 for unrest. And that should be representative. We will check this, though. So Korean peasants... Uh, so at this pace, the next result will... Revolt will be in about 10 years. I'm pretty comfortable with that. Because um, these unrest modifiers should be ticking down. What is Hamgyong so uh, upset about? Autonomy decreased, huh? I'm not sure how long that modifier lasts. Uh, I guess I did pull off my uh, diplomat from Haishi. So how are we doing? So they are very happy because we returned cores to them. And also, uh, we improved relations. Um... 
I don't actually see the normal modifier. Maybe they nerfed that. You used to get a, a massive bonus to relations for returning people's cores, but now it just says gave provinces in peace plus eight. Hmm. Maybe you have to actually use the return a core um, function instead of just having them reconquer it. So 159 on the Tianzhou, 102 on the Haixi. So our next step is to go after the Korchin, but unfortunately it, <coughs> it will be quite a while until we're able to um, do that comfortably. We're just so short on manpower right now. They are not allied with anyone, though, and, um, well, they're in a war, but they're winning it. Hmm. Okay, we still have these transports sitting out. Uh, I guess we may as well stick them in that port and mothball them. is a very nice tech level. Actually, mm, it's just that our army is split right now. So we have a rather large force down in Taiwan. But uh, we do have our vassals. Uh, okay, it's unfortunate that we didn't have an heir in the wings. Um, and Sejong must be really old by now. Yeah, 71. Wow, he has lived a long time. Uh, well, I don't really want to um, end up with low legitimacy. We might end up with a really long regency council. I haven't been exploring. Yeah, who cares about global tariffs? territory right there. So actually, well, we may as well head up north and maybe we'll um, reveal that. This is kind of a waste to walk into it because even though we reveal it, uh, we'll just be stuck in this same province again. We'll bounce back. little uh, nation there. Is there anyone that we could... Uh... Oh, we could annex them. Yeah, I think that we're going to want to do that. But uh, my understanding is it takes much longer than it used to.
Well, as soon as we reveal this territory, I think we're going to call that an episode. All right. Ch Chav Chuveni. Weird. All right, well, we finished our war against the Buryatia. Gave some cores back to Yuren. Did some exploration, started our first colony. Pretty eventful for 20 minutes. All right, so good night, sleep tight. Don't let the gray skin bite. Bye-bye.